In this lesson, we're going to go over what you should expect from this series of videos. So in terms of topics covered, we're going to cover a pretty broad range of material. We're going to go over footprinting and reconnaissance, where you get an idea of what's involved in the engagement that you are working on and information about the target that you are engaged with. We're going to talk about networking fundamentals, and here we're going to get our hands dirty with packets and understanding TCP IP at a deeper level, and also understanding how the different protocols work and why they work that way. We're going to talk about cryptography, where we talk about different cryptographic ciphers. We're going to deal with web encryption, so SSL and TLS. We're going to talk about certificates and creation of certificates and how they actually operate. We're going to talk about public key cryptography. We're also going to deal with scanning and enumeration, so Nmap, and dealing with Windows servers and using SNMP and LDAP and all of that sort of stuff. We're going to be talking about penetration, where we deal with different ways of getting into systems and also go over using Metasploit which is an exploit framework. And we're going to talk about how to use Metasploit to actually get into systems and make use of the exploits that they have available. We're going to talk about malware, so viruses and worms and rootkits and all of that sort of stuff. We're going to look at different pieces of malware and how you would pull that apart in order to understand what it's doing and potentially make use of that malware during a ethical hacking engagement. We're going to talk about different types of denial of service attacks and the difference between a denial of service attack and a distributed denial of service attack. And there is a difference there. So we're going to go over DOS attacks. We're going to talk about web application hacking and the types of tools that you would use during web application hacking the different vulnerabilities that web applications have and how to make use of and exploit those vulnerabilities. We're going to talk about wireless networking, how to probe wireless networks, what wireless networks are doing, and how to secure wireless networks. We are going to talk a little bit about detection evasion. And to be honest with you, detection evasion kind of comes up in a lot of different areas through many of the topics. We're also going to talk about programming attacks and how to protect against and prevent programming attacks. Now, the approach that I'm going to be taking in this series of videos is wherever possible, we're going to be using a hands-on approach. So I'm going to show you the actual tools. I'm going to make use of the tools and do some demonstrations on how they actually work. I am a big believer in getting your hands dirty as the best way to learn anything. So as we go through this series of videos, I strongly encourage you to get access to the tools that I'm going to be demonstrating wherever possible and dig in and get your hands dirty along with me. There are places where we're going to be going over theoretical material, and I'm not a big fan of PowerPoint slides, but sometimes they are necessary in order to convey certain types of information. So wherever possible, I'm going to minimize their use, but you will run across places where they're just a necessary evil, and we're going to have to go through some slideware in order to get some particular points across that are primarily of a theoretical nature. So that's the approach that we'll be taking through this series of videos, and I hope that you have fun as we go along the way.